Okay, so today I'm gonna introduce 1998 Boxster from Porsche. It's my car, I'm driving every day. It gets it has 2.5 liter of flat six boxer engine. So they add they combine the boxer engine and the roadster together. So they call it a boxster. It came in not came out in 1997. So uh, actually it helped a lot of Porsche in terms of finance because it was it made the record that says uh, this one currently has 109,000 kilometers. Because of the age, has a lot of like stone chips in the in the front hood and lots of bugs. It needs to be washed. And um, uh, before 2002, I believe, and they do have a uh, or orange side markers. And then uh, it looks a little ugly, but that's what it is. The engine is located behind the seat. It's a midship engine. It's not like a 911. It's their seat engine and transmission and goes to the back wheels it's not a, a real drive and the front has trunk and the rear has trunk so that's the best part of Boxster and that's the where the uh, intake is that over there and it has a centered uh, exhaust tips and before 2003 everything was plastic window Mine is a little hazy, it used to be polished a little bit. And it's it's great shape because it's been uh, stored in the uh, underground parking lot most of the time. And the uh, uh, rear tire has 255, 40, 17. It, it's a stagger type, so the front has 205, uh, 50, 17. So uh, the rear is a little more wider, like, um, like any other sports car. And then um, right now I have a, a set of uh, S-Drive uh, Yokohama tires in the back. And the front has a Cooper Xeon. I just got it like a few days ago. And the soft top is still original and they're in good shape and no rips and tears. And then uh, I'm going to show you about the trunk size. Let me open the trunk. So I believe it before 2001. They are not electric or like electronic latch, so you have to actually open the hood, open the, pull the wire. And uh, there's a trunk here in the back. So the key point is like when you operate a uh, soft top, you don't have to sacrifice your uh, rear boot space. It's a little shallow because of transmission inside here. And uh, I carry just a bunch of parts and tools, and uh, I pick, I can put a folding bike inside here, with no problem. And there's a front trunk space. It has a. It's not a full size spare tire. It's just like donut, but uh, it's, it's still there. It comes with a. Uh, a Porsche tour kit. That's our original from uh, manufacturers. And then, um, uh, let me put it in there. And there's a little light here, and there's a very brake flood in. And this is the audio amplifier, and that's where you put the washer flow this time. And let me close the hood. Oh, let, before I close the hood. This is the uh, all the information what options, and it was made in Finland, not from Germany. So of course it's a Porsche, so the you turn your key with uh, your left hand, not in the first hand. The reason why they do this is uh, the back then they when they're racing a car, um, the driver has to run to the car. So it was uh, sorry, it's a little bit noisy. So I put it up. Uh, so they have to put the key in the ignition and start. So it makes faster for them to put a key in here and then go instead of the right side. So they can start while they're sitting in the car. So that's why a Porsche, they keep their um, identity for this vehicle. And then uh, it's a little cubby here. 
it's pretty useful because this card does not have any uh, glove box no glove box here and uh, and has uh, like a four speakers in, inside that go two doors and two in the front I think it is optional because other cars does not have it and right now it has a 109 thousand kilometer 100. so that's about 64 62 thousand miles I believe so and uh, this is how you operate the hard top you press this button and they open the latch and then you press this and then uh, but before I do that let me start the engine first no engine check light everything is great it's been maintained properly and then the only downside is AC works the screen is kind of like not working properly so you just control the the wind controlling pressing this plus, plus minus and temperature plus minus if you feel cold just press press the plus if it's hot press the minus and this is a, how you turn the AC on it works fine uh, and the defroster uh, I think this only works when you have a hard top or like a glass win rear window and then the sound system is great it's not a full sound system but I uh, plug with my um, FM transmitter it comes with a CD6 change uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so I assume it's a 5, 6 change and then 2 window buttons unfortunately no uh, heated seats but it's only driving driving for um, summer time so it's a little um, like a cupboard uh, not cupboard it's like a storage here it's not big but you can lock it with your key so can securely while you park outside with the top down. So this car comes with a 5 speed gear and uh, it it's only has 200 horsepower I believe so and it's not powerful but but like I just off the parking lot right now and it drives nice it drives like a Porsche like any other Porsche it has it handles curves really nice and it's very refined and soft I used to own a Mazda Miata with an NA version which was 1990 and that figure is just like this, but not as smooth as Porsche. And it's not as powerful as Porsche. And then uh, and this one is totally uh, better than Mazda Miata in terms of just the, like the smoothness. I'm sure it's a good car, the Miata too. I like, just talk to you later. This is one of a beautiful road in Toronto that I'm driving right now. And, uh, Perfect, yeah, that's what you need for it. You don't need a fancy, expensive, like high horsepower vehicle. Just have enough power that gives you smile when you go corner. And uh, I think that's pretty much all you need, I think, uh, in the city at least. Uh, if you're going track, maybe you might need more horsepower. For this price range, you know, like, you know, they're like between 10 to 15 thousand dollars in Canadian dollars. Um, not too expensive. Insurance is really cheap. I'm paying like uh, less than uh, 1500 per year I'm, less than, I'm, I'm not 30 yet but uh, that's a uh, pretty good price for free coverage and then uh, it's totally worth it I think uh, so uh, if you guys are looking for something second vehicle I think uh, this must be it and then you might you should maybe uh, check it in PGG or Traders uh, so I'm just gonna end it uh, here for today and then thanks for watching today